Good afternoon on this wonderful Sunday. Um, I'm just sitting in a parking lot. It is now 3.04 p.m. I don't have to punch in until 3.30. So I have a little time. I'm just going to ramble a little bit about myself. Just a little bit of background. A little bit of insight on me. I love to sing. Love to sing. Love great music. Love great singing. I won't sing any R&B songs unless it's about love or inspirational. But anything, a lot of, I, I don't listen to rap. I'm not into a lot of the secular music. I'm not, I'm not condemning anybody. That, it's just me. But I've heard some people that have wonderful voices. I always tend to hear wonderful voices some way or another. Um, like some of my biggest heroes are social media singers. Um, and you have a bunch of them out there that are really, really awesome and could easily probably be signed to someone's label. Right now, I'm currently signed to Bathroom Records under the Shower label. And I'm pretty sure there are a lot of you signed to that company along with me. You know, and they also have different uh, 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 um, branch companies because, you know, their shower room, kitchen garage basement and even car basically they're all under the solo umbrella you know as far as solo as far as audience is concerned but anyway um my favorite group of all time is take six not because they are the most nominated and have won the most grammys they're but they're the most gr They've got more Grammy nominations and won more Grammys than any group in history. But that's not why. Their tight harmony, those nuances, and that out-of-this-world bass, Alvin Chi, has been my hero since high school. Uh, from their first album all the way up until now. Their harmony is just sick. And for me to be able to hear and take apart some of the things they do and uh, make songs of it or, you know, even do snippets of songs. I give that glory to God. He gave me the gift to hear things and understand things. I have perfect pitch. A lot of people say, well, I know somebody with perfect pitch. Let me explain to you what perfect pitch is. I can tune a piano by my voice. If I sing a middle C, a B flat, a F, whatever it is, and your piano does not play that note if I walk to that piano and play that note and it is not the sound of my voice your piano is off not because I'm saying I'm so great it's part of my gift it's you can't be taught perfect pitch you can't be taught to sing if you're tone deaf you can't two things Ooh, teach me how to sing I want to sing I may give him a little something I may say, sing, amazing grace, how sweet. If they go, amazing grace, how sweet. They're tone deaf. They can't be taught. I'm sorry. But I love to have fun with music. Love to have fun with singing. I won't sing secular music unless it has something to do with love a true love song or an inspirational song anything outside of that I won't do anything that I'd be pleased with singing at a wedding or at an event as far as inspirational or a true love at a reception or a wedding no problem with me but I'm mostly strictly all gospel because that's where my greatest singing heroes are I was a Brian McKnight fan. I still love his voice. I don't listen to his music like I used to. But every now and again, there are certain songs. He sang The Day the Earth Stood Still. And there was a song he sang called Oh Lord. And certain love ballads. I'd sing from him all day long. Love singing love songs. Love singing inspirational songs. But I won't get into touching you here and making your body do this and the neighbors knowing my name and all of that stuff that's not me 
I'm not condemning you if you listen to that music. I'm not. That's just me. My favorite color is black. Yours may be blue or green or yellow. We can agree to disagree and move on. I'm not condemning you. Please don't, please don't hate me. I love you. Um, having perfect, perfect pitch is interesting. Because we hear things that people with some of the best pitch you've heard don't hear. You may sing a note. Or anybody may sing a note. Somebody with relative pitch may say, good. I may sit there and say, they were on the flat side of that note. And it's not a criticism. It's what we hear. Um, it's what we feel. It's what we understand, really. Everybody hears the same thing, but it's our interpretation of how our brains are wired to understand and respond to what we hear. Um, but I love singing. Uh, and there is a certain person to which I recently subscribed whose voice I love to hear. Um, and there are a few I love to hear. Not famous. They have not signed records. I mean, my favorites are number one, Daryl Coley. I work to mimic him. I still have my own flair, but his runs and the things that he does with his voice, I want that. Growling, he has a growl too, but Keith Wonderboy Johnson, growl, love his growl. Rance Allen, awesome. Uh, Karen Clark Sheard, and I'll say this, the old Karen Clark Sheard from years ago, love her, love her. Um, Jasmine Sullivan has a very interesting voice because she sings in the lower registers doing what people that sing in higher registers can do with, do with their voice. She's very versatile in the lower ranges, the runs and playing with her voice and things of that nature in the lower ranges of her voice. I think that's awesome. Um, so many others. But anyway, I can't talk you to death because I have to soon get in here and uh, get to work for these uh, hours. Came from church, have to go to work. So, I mean, it is what it is. Um, but I love you guys. Uh, please subscribe me. Subscribe to my channel. Um, I try to put more stuff on there. Been kind of busy. Been working on some things as well. And um, I'm a lover of harmony. Six part harmony, really. Thanks to Take Six. But anyway, I love you guys. Rate, comment, complain, moan, groan. Uh, whether the good comments or bad comments, I learn from them all, one way or the other. I'm going to learn something good or I'm going to learn something bad. Anywho, I learn. But um, God bless, and I look forward to singing or posting again soon.